Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Rafael's Insights. Hola a todos, bienvenidos a mi canal de Rafael's Insights. Esta va a ser la segunda parte de los horóscopos. Este, y va a ser de, de Libra a Pisces. So, vamos a comenzar. This is going to be through Libra to Pisces. Libra, the card of the Nine of Wands is going to be the card that's going to be dominating you this week from the 12th through the 19th. This card here tells you that you have to watch out for hidden enemies this week. You have to watch out for hidden enemies. They're going to be close. It tells you that if you don't have any obstacles, obstacles can present themselves. If you have obstacles, you're overcoming them. Nonetheless, you'll be able to overcome any obstacle or challenge that, that you that that appears. You might be receiving news as well, news that you were waiting for or just news. Para este Libra te dice la carta del 9 de bastos que va a ser una semana desde el, desde el 12 a 19 de que tienes que cuidarte de, lo, de los enemigos ocultos. Te tienes que cuidar de los enemigos ocultos, tienes que cuidarte de las envidias. Te dice que si no traes obstáculos, se te presentan obstáculos. Si, si ya traes obstáculos, estás liberándotelos. Pero en cuestiones de los obstáculos, también te dice que los vas a vencer y vas a poder salir adelante. Y también te, te dice que pueden llegarte noticias que estás esperando o noticias inesperadas. <coughs> How is Scorpio going to be like from the 12th through the 19th? ¿Cómo va a estar Scorpio desde el 12 hasta el 19? The card of the King of Swords is going to be the card that's going to be dominating Scorpio. The, card, the King of Swords tells you it's going to be a week of triumph. Triumph in terms of anything that you're doing legal, educational, in terms of administrative, in terms of work-wise. Nonetheless, in terms of work, watch yourself in terms of tense energies. If you're feeling a bit stressed, think before you talk. In terms of things that, that present themselves to you, think before you talk. Analyze it. Don't give a yes right away. Think about it before you rush into something that you're going to regret. Nonetheless, the card of the King of Swords tells you that it's going to be a week of triumph. Para este, para este escorpión te dice la carta del de Rey de Espadas que va a ser una semana de triunfo. Que vas a tener triunfo en cuestiones legales, educación, administrativo, en cuestiones del trabajo. En el trabajo sí van a estar como unas energías un poco tensas, pero te dice también que si estás estresado, te sientes estresado, ah, piensa antes de hablar. No digas, no digas nada por el estrés, no te desquitas con las personas que no te tienes que desquitar. Te dice con el rey de espadas que si se te presentan oportunidades, analízalo, piénsalo. No le digas un sí porque luego te metes en cosas que, de problemas o cosas que te vas a arrepentir. How is Sagittarius going to be like from the 12th through the 19th? ¿Cómo está Sagittario desde el 12 hasta el 19? The card of the Three of Wands is going to be the card that's going to be dominating Sagittarius. The Three of Wands says that it's going to be a week, a week of success. It's going to be a week of success. You'll be able to succeed in terms of anything that you're doing. If you're waiting for a job opportunity, it arrives. You get that call back from, for an interview. You get the job. The card of the Three of Wands also tells you that there could be trips that come up in terms of work-wise. Or that there could be trips that you get invited on. The card of the Three of Wands tells you that you're still going to have a good week. It tells you that you do seem to be indecisive over something or you seem to be overthinking. Try not to let the overthinking sabotage you. Try not to let the overthinking consume you because then you sabotage yourself. Para este Sagitario te dice la carta del Tres de Bastos que va a ser una semana de éxito. Que va a ser una semana de éxito, tienes éxito. Te dice el Tres de Bastos que vas a estar un poco indecisivo, pensativo, pero te dice que... Que no dejes que lo indecisivo, los pensamientos te consuman, porque luego te saboteas, te saboteas y te salen las cosas mal. Pero la carta del tres bastos dice, puedes tener éxito en cuestiones de todo lo que estás haciendo, lo que vas a hacer esta semana. Te dice que te pueden llegar la noticia del trabajo que estás esperando, la, la entrevista o el trabajo, o te pueden llegar oportunidades. En cuestiones de viajes te pueden salir por medio del trabajo o, o viajes inesperados, pero la carta del tres bastos trae energías buenas para triunfar para tener éxito en cuestiones de cosas que quieras hacer. How is um, Capricorn going to be like from the 12th through the 19th of February? ¿Cómo va a estar Capricorn desde el 12 hasta el 19? Definitely the card of the Page of Pentacles is going to be the card that's going to be dominating you. The card of the Page of Pentacles tells you that you have success. You have, you have energies of advancing economically, resolving financial problems, economical surprises. You have all the luck. This card here tells you you have all the luck. Take advantage of it. Luck and lottery scratchers gambling. Normally, when you have these type of energies, you have good energies. You have, you have these energies that are going to help you get extra money. It's going to help you get the money that you were waiting for. It's going to help you re resolve financial issues. But nonetheless, if you're, I'll tell you one thing again. I'll, I'll say it again. If you have witchcraft, if, you're, if you have a very heavy energy, most of the time, this isn't even going to help you. Because if you have witchcraft, you're not going to be able to liberate yourself enough to, to get luck. So if, you, if your sign is coming out that 
that you have luck and you're not experiencing it, give yourself a good cleanse because there, there could be something wrong with that. Nonetheless, the card of the Page of Pentacles says, Economical surprises, lucky breaks, and you have luck this week. Para este, para este Capricornio, te dice la carta de la suerte, el, el sota de, de oros, que trae suerte, golpes de suerte esta semana, que te llega dinerito extra, el dinerito que estás esperando, o golpes de suerte, pero la carta de, de el sota de oros dice avanzamiento, avanza, avanzamiento en cuestiones económicamente, resolviendo situaciones económicas. Te dice que si no te llega la suerte, si estás pasando por un momento donde dice que tienes suerte y no te llega la suerte y tú sabes que la estás pasando mal, date una buena limpia, porque a veces cuando uno le sale suerte en los horóscopos y no, no lo está pasando, no le está pasando la suerte, es que andan embrujados o andan muy mal. Si estás embrujado, no vas a ver la suerte, porque la brujería no te va a dejar, no te va a dejar que te llegue. Entonces, cuidado con eso, te digo porque le pasa a mucha gente a veces, pero la carta del sota de oros, en todos modos dice, hay buena vibra y aprovecha las energías buenas. The card that dominates Aquarius from the 12th through the 19th is the magician. The magician tells you that it's the energy of God asking you shall receive. It tells you he's going to be helping you overcome obstacles, overcome challenges. And there could be challenges that present themselves, but God is with you and God's going to help you overcome them. In terms of asking you shall receive whatever you want, whatever you need, Pray about it, ask for it, because you should be you will be answered right away. Normally, when this energy is dominating, it's it's answering you right away. You do have luck, so you should be receiving a lucky break as well. But nonetheless, in terms of this energy, you might also get opportunities from your own job, new positions, new openings, raises, or it could be a new job. But for some of you, you're going to be receiving job opportunities from your own job or from a new, better paying job. Nonetheless, asking you shall receive. And it's going to be a week of lucky breaks and overcoming obstacles. Para este acuario te dice la carta del de mago. El mago te dice, pide y se te dará. Pide lo que ocupas, pide lo que necesitas y se te dará. Es la carta de Dios. Esta carta representa a Dios. Miras el infinito, es la energía de Dios. Te dice que pide si se te dará, te va a ayudar Dios en, en salir de obstáculos. Es una semana de salir de obstáculos. Si no traes obstáculos, se te pueden presentar, pero... En todos modos vas a estar saliendo de esos obstáculos. Dice que te pueden llegar oportunidades por medio de tu propio trabajo, promociones, nuevas oportunidades, no, nuevos, nuevos, este, nuevo trabajo. Y te dice que también puede hacer nuevos, nuevos trabajos de, de otra compañía, como un nuevo trabajo que te paga mejor. Entonces es una energía muy buena. Entonces te dice, pide y se te dará a tu deseo, pídele a Dios lo que necesita y te va a contestar casi inmediatamente. Pero en cuestiones de esta carta también es suerte, te llegan golpes de suerte esta semana también. Pisces, Pisces, you have the card of the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands tells you that you're going to be a bit indecisive. You're going to be a bit indecisive from the from the 12th through the 19th. This card here tells you indecisiveness. You're, you're thinking about something. There could be difficult decisions that, that appear for you. But in terms of the card of the Two of Wands, it also tells you that things are balancing out. Difficult situations that you were passing, bad humps of life. You know how life gives us ups and downs. You're overcoming those those huge that huge hump that you've been dealing with for a long time. It says that it's the energy of equilibrium, meaning something's balancing out in your life. You do still seem to be indecisive or something. There could be difficult decisions that you can make, planning for the future or thinking about the future. And in terms of work-wise, watch out for a bit of tense and conflicting energies. It could be a little bit of tensions at work or conflict with somebody at work. Para este piscis te dice la carta del dos de bastos que va a ser una semana que va a estar un poco indecisivo. Estás pensando mucho en algo, indecisivo de algo. Te dice que, que te pueden salir decisiones difíciles o traes decisiones difíciles, pero la carta del dos de bastos te dice que algo se está como equilibrando. Es la energía de equilibración. Significa que la vida nos da arribas y bajas. Y ese, ese baja, bajo o ese... Ese, esa montaña que has estado pasando por y que parecía que nunca vas a salir de eso, ya vas a estar saliendo de eso. Vienen cambios muy buenos para ti, que se está estabilizando algo en tu vida, te dice que estás planeando algo para el futuro, pensando en el futuro, pero en el trabajo te dice cuidado con energías de conflictos, cuidado con energías de conflictos en general. Puede haber un pleito o puede haber poco tens como tensión entre, entre personas, o cuídate mucho de esa parte, pero... En todos modos es una energía de equilibración, se te está acomodando algo en tu vida. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the horoscopes. I hope you guys enjoy my horoscopes. And, um, and it's always a pleasure. Siempre es un placer de dejarle mis horoscopos.